Hello everyone, welcome to Ekipi Side to Take. Today, I am going to explore a popular IoT sensor. Yes, I am talking about IS sensor or infrared sensor. An application of IS sensor is a line following robot. So, no more waiting, let's explore the IS sensor. In IS sensor, we have three fins. One for VCC, the mid one is for ground, and the last but not the least, the output pin. Explore the main components of an IR sensor. The first one is the IR LED that emits the infrared. Next, the photodiode. It absorbs the infrared that's coming from the object. So, now, there are two LEDs available with the IR sensor. The first one is the power LED. Whenever we connect the microcontroller with the power source, this LED will be on in green color. The next LED will be on whenever the IR sensor detects an obstacle in front of the IR LED. That's it. Now we are going to connect this IR sensor with a microcontroller board. Here I am using Node NCU ESP8266. Now you can see the IS sensor is connected with the Node MCU board. To test the IS sensor, I have connected a buzzer and a LED with the Node MCU board. Now it's time to explore the circuit diagram. How we can connect the buzzer, LED and the IS sensor with the Node MCU board. Right now you can see the Node MCU board. And here I have connected the IS sensor with the Node MCU board. First, the VCC of IS sensor is connected with the node MCU board 3 volt fin. Next, the ground fin connected with the ground of node MCU board. And here it is. Next, the output pin of IS sensor is connected with the D8 and that's GPIO 17. Next, I have connected the LED positive pin with the D5 of node MCU board. Next, the buzzer pin here the buzzer is connected with the d2 of node mcu board so this is the simple circuit diagram that's we are going to use to experiment with the is sensor now it's time to export the arduino code that we are going to upload into the node mcu board the arduino code is ready so let's go through it if there is no obstacle in front of the is sensor the is sensor value will be high and that's going to make the LED pin and the buzzer pin in low. So that's the simple logic that we are going to implement for this project. Here I have already uploaded this code into my Node MCU board. If you have any problem with the Arduino IDE or Arduino IDE configuration, you can visit my previous video tutorials. The link will be available in the description box. Now it's time to test the setup. First, I am going to turn on my microcontroller and it's Node MCU ESP8266. Whenever we turn on the microcontroller board, the green light is on and it indicates the power. If there is an obstacle in front of the IR sensor, the second green light will be on. So you can see the second green light is on and off. Okay. So you can see the IS sensor is working perfectly. Whenever there is an obstacle in front of the IS sensor, the LED and buzzer both are active. But now what is happening? The IS sensor is not working. Is there any problem with the sensor? No, there is no problem with the sensor. Then what is the reason the IS sensor is unable to detect the object? Yes, actually we need to place the object in front of the IR LED. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So it's line of sight communication in case of IS sensor. The object should be in front of the IR LED. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So, so that's the disadvantage of IS sensor. Now we are going to test the IS sensor in the darkness. So let's switch off the lights.
now so the eye sensor is working perfectly in the darkness also let's do another experiment with the eye sensor right now i have a big car and the car is in front of the eye sensor but there is no response from the eye sensor both the led and buzzer both are off so i can say the eye sensor is not working right now to check the eye sensor i am placing another object in front of the eye sensor and it's working perfectly there is no error what is happening when i am placing the car there is no response from the eye sensor can you guess it yes there is a possible reason why the eye sensor is unable to detect the car whenever there is a black object the eye sensor can't detect the object because of the simple rule of light so there is no reflection of light from black objects right so that's the possible reason that's why the eye sensor is unable to detect the black object so if you want to explore more on eye sensor please feel free to communicate with me through the comment section of the video thank you and if you like the video please subscribe the channel